Christmas decorating took a bit longer. He's bored and he texts me all the time. Careful, man. This doesn't look that great. So what we found? Just a bit of rum. <laughs> totally healthy. Good morning, guys. Good morning. And by morning, I mean noon because that's how long it takes Peter to get ready. <laughs> that's not true, but I like to sleep. Yes, you do. <laughs> I can confirm that. Peter likes to sleep. <laughs> yeah, because I have night shifts and everything on other days. Not now, during our vacation, but I need sleep. Mm. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? Today, we are going to spend most of the time in our kitchen, because we are going to bake and cook and there will be a great Christmas atmosphere. So you're in charge today? Mm -hmm. The decorations yes. were my specialty, but I know nothing about cooking and baking, so yeah, it's all on you. So I'm going to give orders and yeah, Tommy will follow them. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. It's the perfect <laughs> Christmas atmosphere. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. <laughs> so let's go. Mm -hmm. So what's first on today's agenda? We are going to prepare eggnog. Ooh. I found a recipe on the internet a few years ago and I perfected it. Uh, it's a special eggnog because it's supposed to be healthy. So there are no eggs? There are <laughs> eggs, but there is no milk or sugar. Uh, we are going to prepare almond milk first. So here we have almonds that we let soak in water overnight or over two nights because <laughs> we wanted to do it yesterday but Christmas decorating took a bit longer than we expected mm -hmm. so we are going to prepare this almond milk you'll see the whole process and then we'll get to the eggnog we need a big blender and we are going to use fresh water not the one that the almonds were in. So much. Yeah. One liter. So you'll need one bag of milk. So we need to pour it through this milk bag or <laughs> nut bag. We just want the liquid and the solid parts will stay here and we will create almond flour out of it. We are going to use it later. Nothing will go to waste, don't worry. So we need to squeeze all the liquid out. It's like milking a vegan cow. Yeah. <laughs> and you can use different kinds of nuts. Uh, this almond milk is the best, I think. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Yeah. But we tried hazelnut milk, cashew milk, or... Poppy seed milk? Poppy seed milk, yeah. That's not so good. But Don't try it at home. It's not terrible <laughs> either. They sell it even commercially here in the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. And it's a big hit. Poppy seed milk, yeah. But it's something else than what you see in Game of Thrones. Milk of a poppy to create hallucinations or something, <laughs> so this is not that. <laughs> we use ripe poppy seeds. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's done. And what should I do with the rest? Here, on this plate. Uh, we are going to use this right away in a recipe. Ooh, tell us more, Peter. No, later. <laughs> And now I'm going to pour this milk back into the blender. Because we will use dates or date paste to make it sweet. So this is date paste and we just need a part of it. I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces so the blender doesn't have to do all the work. 
Now I'm going to put it here, careful. <laughs> That was very careful, honey. <laughs> this doesn't look that great. You're shooting all over our kitchen again. <laughs> Back to blending. Now we need four egg yolks. This is always terrifying for me. To do this. We have to se separate the, the egg yolk. Doing it like this. This looks like it's done. So looks first, yellow. Yeah, first egg yolk. And it's done! A bit of the egg yolk got into the egg whites. On the internet that write that this can't happen and that it will be impossible to make whipped egg whites but we'll see about that hopefully not because it would end up being a disaster and you won't see our recipe you're a pro so i believe that you will do it anyway yes i believe so too and here we have the egg yolks so we have to i don't know do a nice Whip them. and now we will add this to the milk Careful all of it because it's eggnog, so we need eggs. So it's not vegan. How disappointing. Yeah, but otherwise it would not be eggnog, I guess. It would just be no. No, yes. Like from Deep Space Nine, you know? Nah. I know. <laughs> but do you guys know? <laughs> Tommy is referring to Star Trek. Okay, so it's in, and now we have to warm it up, slowly and carefully. I will use number seven. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> like middle flame or something. You have to stir it carefully, and it will take quite a long time to heat up, but you don't want it to boil, because then the eggs would be not what we want. Because you don't want scrambled eggs. Yeah, so this moment will decide if you will drink your eggnog or eat it. <laughs> Hopefully we will drink this. You want it to get thicker and coating should start creating on your spoon. We are not there yet. So I've been here for about 15 minutes stirring and it's hard to decide when it's done. I'm waiting for first little bubbles to appear and then I turn it off. It's a bit thicker and I think the egg yolks must be done. They are not raw anymore because it's quite hot so I think they are good. I'm turning it off. And now we are going to add spices. So, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, quarter of a teaspoon of nut flour or mace, hopefully that's the correct term, half a spoon of cinnamon and quarter of a spoon of cardamom. You can maybe add a bit of turmeric so it would be yellow, but we are not doing that. We don't need it to look pretty or anything. So, you stir it to distribute it evenly. And now, alcohol. We have this special rum, it's Czech rum. <laughs> this is white rum with coconut flavor. This is your favorite part, right? Yeah, so. <laughs> Oops, a bit more than I wanted, but doesn't matter. If you weren't filming it, it would be even more. Now I can smell it. <laughs> Very nice. This coconut rum is good for this, I think, because it adds to it, definitely. We will keep it in fridge for a bit, uh, after it cools down, and the flavor will, should get more intense. 
And now the second part of this recipe. We have this almond flour, but it's very wet. We need it to be a bit drier. So I'm going to put this with a plate into the oven and put it on 80 degrees for half an hour. So just a small heat until it gets at least a bit drier. We don't want to wait, so at least something. So now I'm putting it into the blender and I will try to make it more powdery so it looks like a flower. And let's whip these egg whites. Hopefully it will work. Hmm. Okay, so this looks terrible. <laughs> this is not what we were aiming for. I don't know, it's too liquidy. Something happened. So, change of plans. We have to do something with it. Okay, a miracle happened. And when I added the almond flour, the consistency is okay. So, we are continuing as usual. So, you need a spoon. And you just create these random shapes. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so these are little kisses. That's the name of these cookies. When did we start with this tradition? I don't know, three years ago. Together when you discovered the eggnog? Mm -hmm. I think so. Because it's really great that you don't waste anything, right? And you use all yeah. the ingredients. Yeah. Love it. This is us. We always want to use everything and we always start from scratch. So our little pieces are ready. Now into the oven. And we are going to bake them. One hundred and fifty degrees. <laughs> and almond small kisses should be ready. They look delicious. Very almondy. Very kissy. Let me see. Yeah. I think it's okay. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's so delicious. Yum. And healthy, I'm told. Yeah, just a bit of rum. <laughs> totally healthy. <laughs> and these? Little pieces, they're already quite big pieces actually. Mm -hmm. Can I try as well? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's even better than your kisses. Whoa! <laughs> Careful, honey. I really enjoy this time leading to Christmas. Mainly because we have uh, days off <laughs> from work. So we won't go to work for the next two weeks or so. Which is always great, right? Mm -hmm. And we use this time to get into Christmas mood. So we get ready for Christmas, we get all our stuff, and we are at home, we watch Christmas movies, prepare Christmas drinks and Christmas food. And yeah, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Even Christmas cookies this year, but we again realized that it's a really time consuming <laughs> process. So we'll maybe show you the final results next time or at the end of this video we'll see but yeah a lot of cookies i didn't expect that <laughs> and we are really extroverted during this christmas time because we usually invite two friends over <laughs> separately obviously we couldn't handle two people here at the same time 
<laughs> and we usually share these with our friends. But since this year, obviously, we practice social distancing. We are not inviting anybody, so more for us. Yay! More sugar. <laughs> and a few days ago, we went to see Christmas market uh, in the city center. Mm -hmm. So we are going to show you that because it's really nice. Again, this year it's all about social distancing. So the stalls are farther from each other and there is no food or drinks. Yeah, so they sell Christmas decorations and some small things you could buy as a gift to some, for somebody. So it's better <laughs> for us because there are no big crowds. Like there are still a lot of people, but it's not totally overcrowded. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to just walk around and Christmas lights everywhere. First we went during the day, but at this time of year it gets dark really soon, before 4 p.m. here. So we waited until it's dark and that was really nice too, to see it with all the lights. And there are three Christmas trees or maybe even more. I'm not sure how many we saw, but that was really pretty. So what we found? A tree just for us. <laughs> Looks wonderful. And gifts. Wow. Just for us as well? Yeah. It's been really good this year. Yeah, exactly. We saw quite a lot of Bethlehems or nativity scenes. We are not sure about that word in English, but three of them. There are carousels, one carousel, merry-go-round, and one big Ferris wheel, uh -huh. and a Christmas tram that is very nice. You can, you can ride in a Christmas tram, very romantic, but not really because it takes you to regular places with regular people. <laughs> we don't like regular people, we are above them. <laughs> One interesting thing about our Christmas is that our Christmas day is on the 21st of December. Yeah. And by we, we mean the two of us, not uh, our country. <laughs> Uh, the reason is... Uh, actually, Peter thought of that. Mm -hmm. Big yeah. Should I explain? Mm -hmm. You should. So, this is Tommy and Peter's Christmas. Because I was always in Brno with Tommy, but then the main day for everyone here is on the 24th of December. Yeah, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. And... I needed to be with my family. But I also wanted to have a special Christmas day with Tommy. That's the same as the Christmas Eve. So I made up this day on the 21st of December that this will be our Christmas day. But it's cal carefully calculated. Why 21st? Why not 23rd or 22nd? Yeah, because after this day you have to have one day free, so you can do nothing. Yeah, so that's 22nd. And then, on the next day, so 23rd, you travel to Slovakia to see your parents. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. So, and then on the 24th, there is the main Christmas day, Christmas Eve, <laughs> with your family. For many years Tommy has been visiting my family with me, but we still do this Tommy and Peter's Christmas Day on the 21st. Yeah, so what happens is that on the 21st we have our Christmas, then we travel to Slovakia and on Christmas Eve on the 24th we are with Peter's parents. And then on the 25th I travel by myself 
to visit my family because Peter doesn't want to go. Yeah, because <laughs> you are not supposed to travel during Christmas. <laughs> so so I don't want to waste time by traveling. Yeah. So Peter stays with his family on the 25th and he does nothing. He's bored and he texts me all the time. Uh, while I'm on the train, it takes me four hours to get to my mom's place. And then I travel uh, between my mom and my dad and my grandparents. So for me, Christmas has always been about traveling and to, uh, to visit all your family members within two or three days. Yeah, but Tommy always said to me that it's not that important that I go. So I said, okay, I will stay at my parents and I will not waste time by traveling. Yeah, it's, it's not important. And uh, plus you have a tradition on the 26th with your family. Mm -hmm. On the 26th uh, we are going on a hike. Big hike somewhere. Usually the objective is to get above the clouds because it's always overcast. So, yeah, into the mountains to find snow and to find snow. Yeah, there are high mountains in Slovakia, so it's possible. And then uh, yeah, on the 27th or 28th, we meet again here in Brno. And I usually, I usually bring a lot of uh, sweets and cookies with me from my family. And then Peter gets half of them. <laughs> yeah, and they are delicious. And next time we are planning to show you our Christmas day, this 21st of December. Yeah, we are planning to film our Christmas day, the 21st of December, and show you guys how we celebrate Christmas. Because we anyway should release our next video on the 24th, which is the main day when everybody's off and celebrating Christmas at home. Uh, so we have this advantage that we can show you in advance. Yeah. But it can be quite stressful, this schedule, that you have to release every Thursday. Well, you don't have to, but we want to. Yeah, you have to stay consistent on YouTube. Uh, so, we will tell you more about everything, what we do on that day, what we eat, and all the traditions and everything. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. We don't know if we will be able to visit our family members this year, for obvious reasons. Especially Peter's parents, because they live in another country. And as of now, if we want to go there, we would have to go through the testing and quarantine and everything. And I don't think we would even have time for all of that. Plus it would be expensive to go through all that. So it seems like we will probably stay at home this year for the first time. Mm -hmm. Which seems like quite a big deal, because it's really important this holiday. And when you have Christmas dinner, my dad always starts this speech with We are here again, all of us, but this year it will be different. So yeah. this, this year it will go like they are not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a bit weird for me, so we'll see. Christmas Eve is the most important holiday of the year for most people, so yeah, it's sad that we won't be able to go, but life goes on. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we could go watch our first Christmas movie of the year now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should do that and eat all the little kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's consume our kisses. I I'm going to be totally oversweetened. It's really sweet. I added too much sugar, but that's what in my recipe. Because it's sweet kisses? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one more sip of Christmas eggnog on camera and then we'll go. So like, comment, comment, <laughs> subscribe to our channel, share with a friend, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.